Good morning, math group. It's so good to have you back. We've been off for a long time. Today is the 17th of January, 2014 AD. Um, we are working with um, estimating percents, and we're doing something maybe a little bit different than what you've ever done with estimating before. You're showing your work. Seems kind of silly when you're estimating, but we're showing your work. We're talking about compatibles and benchmarks. Our first our, our problem for today is 36% of 120. And as I've instructed you already previously in your notes, what is the first thing I want you to show me? Compatible, compatible numbers. numbers. So what are the compatible numbers that go with 36% of 120? We're not going to use 36 and 120 because I don't think they're compatible. They don't go well together. What goes well together, Jalen? 40% of 120. I think that's too big of a jump. I think you jumping four percentage points is going to give you an estimate that isn't accurate. We want a closer, better, accurate, and I think there's a better compatible that's closer to 36%. Jasmine. 35%? I think the best compatibles would be 35% of 120. And Jasmine, or somebody, what would be your steps here then if 35% of 120, show me why they're compatible. Or how would you show this based upon our previous example? I mean? You can divide 120 by 30. Okay, and what is that? Okay, yeah, because I don't know if that's going to help you much. Unless you phrase it differently or put it differently. Now, what are you doing there, buddy? Um, you can sort of break down 35%. So what I did was I did 10% uh, of 120 plus 10% of 120 plus 10% of 120 plus 5%. So Niall told me that instead of using 35% of 120, he took 10%, 10%, 10%, and then half of that, which is 5%, and he thought that would be a pretty easy way of getting to the answer, right? Yeah. So just in your head, what is 10% of 120? 12. And how many times are you going to do that? Um, 3. What's 12 plus 12 plus 12? 36. 36. And what's half of 12? 36. And what's 36 plus 6? Um, I'm thinking, I'm hoping you all work that out in your head or can work that out in your head. What I'm asking you to do is show me what you did in your head. So you said, well, I know that 10% of 120 is equal to, well, I'm sorry, not 6, 12. And how many times are you going to do that? Three. We're going to do that three times. So I'm actually going to show it three times. And then are we to 35% yet, which is our compatible, Niall? Uh, not yet. So we got to do 5% of 120, which... We already did that. We know that 10% is 12, so half of 10 is 6. So if we add all of these guys together, 12, 12, 12, and 6, we get what? 42. Your answer is going to be 42. Add it all up. Now, another way of going about it might be saying, well, Mr. Pottinger, this is way too much for me, too rich for my blood. So you might say with your work, well, I know 10% of 120 is 12, and I know that in order to get to at least 30%, I need to do this three times. Right? What's 12 times 3? Am I there yet? No, because I just did 30%. Because 10% three times is 30%. 5% of 120 is super simple because you already know 10% is 12. 6, right? Mm -hmm. So you're taking your 36 plus 6 and you're getting to 42. Final answer, 42. Questions on how I would want you to show this? You're thinking when you're estimating, Jenna. Could you just multiply it by 3 and a half? Multiply what by 3 and a half? Um, uh, the 10% of 120. So 12 by 3.5? Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's 12 times 3 is 36 and you get half of that? Maybe, yeah. I think I actually wanted you to show me the breakdown a little bit more though. I understand what you're saying, and I think it's a good idea, but I want to see the breakdown, at least for now, a little bit more thoroughly. Yeah, ma'am? Would that count as working vertically? That would count as working vertically, yeah. Because I still am working vertically. I was just calculating going across there. Yeah. Okay. Questions, comments, concerns, quandaries, quibbles, quotes, or queries?